Coming up next, Health Matters. Thank you so much for staying with us on Channel Television. Welcome to Health Matters. I'm Jomi Otaigwe. Today on the program, we'll center our discussion around the causes and management of cleft lip and pallid deformities. And this occurs while the baby is being formed. If left untreated, cleft lip and pallid can cause speech or hearing loss, and sometimes it can go as far as causing psychosocial effect on the individual with the defect and so today we'll be looking into all of this and how it can be prevented in, in cases where it can and my guest on the program is an oral and maxillofacial surgeon and lecturer at the College of Medicine University of Lagos Dr. Olutaya James thank you so much for being with us thank you good afternoon to viewers at home all right cleft and pallid lip sometimes you 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 go on the road and you see a baby or even an elderly person with you know some kind of break between the lip and you're wondering what happened mm -hmm. what is what is this all, all about um, cleft lip and palate is a form of deformity that we see at birth just as you have mentioned and what you have you have a gap in the affected part of the body it commonly affect the upper lip you have a gap or you have an opening on the lip. You call that one cleft lip. You could also have cleft inside the mouth at the roof of the mouth where we call palate. So when you look at the mouth, you, can, you will see an opening in the roof of the mouth. That one we call cleft palate. And it could also, most severe form of it will occur at the face. You are what you call facial cleft in which you have gap connecting the, the eye to the upper lip or the ear to the corner of the mouth. That one, we call it um, facial cleft. So there are bad uh, deformities that we see when you give birth to baby and it's actually uh, a defect in the formative stage of the baby inside the womb. Okay, and talking about the formative stage, um, mm. At what point does this happen? Uh, usually it happens at the first trimester of the pregnancy when the organs are forming. You know, the face develops in form of swellings. You have swellings that come together and join and form the face. So when you have some disturbances in the coming together of these swellings, then you have a gap at birth, and that's what you call a cleft. Okay, now let's go to those disturbances that, that you mentioned. What could, mm. what could they be? Well, um, 
the exact cause is actually not known. But there are some things that have been implicated in these disturbances. Okay. Examples, you have um, maternal illness. All right, before you continue, we have this uh, uh, picture showing on the screen right now. This mm. is uh, just the cleft lip. And this is double. Yes, this is bilateral, double. Okay. Okay, and this child is, is like the first one. Yeah, this one is unilateral. You can have, you see, there's a gap. Ordinarily, the lips are supposed to continue, but you have a gap. And this is palate, the one that go in the roof of the mouth. Of the mouth. Okay. So and, and you were talking about um, the causes. It could be maternal illness. Or, or maternal illness could be. That, those are the things that have been implicated. Some drugs also have been implicated, and that's why. Um, indiscriminate use of drugs during pregnancy is actually um, discouraged. Then there are some environmental factors like irradiation has also been implicated. Then of course genetics has also been implicated because it has been found to run in some families. You have some of our mothers, they come with their babies and when you look at their mouth, you see a cleft there. So also um, genetic factor has been implicated and even that one is been correctly investigated at the University of Lagos. Okay, that's yeah. the gene part of yeah, it. Yeah, the gene, the genetic part of it, because okay. of the link has been found. So that one is, is correct. Would believed. it be coming from the father or the mother, or from both parents? It could come from both of the parents. It could come from even the grandparent. It could come from any part of the lineage, and that's what part of what we are investigating. Okay, what about um, I've heard of um, herbal concoctions yeah. also being linked to this. Yes, um, drug um, medicine generally has been linked. And of course, you know, most of our herbal concussion here the, has no formula. I mean, it's just concussion that are made. And all those ones also can affect the formative age and could lead to all this uh, bad defect that we are seeing. Okay, and so. some people have a whole lot of myth as is surrounding this cleft lip and palate. You see, you hear that oh, once a woman delivers this kind of a baby with this kind of deformities, then the the woman is guilty of perhaps walking in the night in or the you night. know all those. Yes, things. actually, we have had so many kind of a presentation story in the hospital. Like some of the people, they say that. Somebody that died prematurely is coming back and struggling to come back. That's why you have defect. And we had that one two weeks ago. Then some people believe that pregnant women should not go at night. So when they go at night, that's one. All of them are just superstition, and they have no scientific backing concerning the etiology of what um, we are talking about today. Okay, and when we talk of these drugs, like the one that is not prescribed, indiscriminate mm. use, use of, of drugs, yes. drugs during pregnancy, mm. is it going to be in the first trimester or it could occur even after the first trimester? Actually, th taking self-medication during pregnancy is not even advised. But actually, the first trimester is the most sensitive uh, period. And this is how many months? That's the, the, the first three months of the, of the pregnancy. That's where, when we have this organ forming. The first eight weeks is the period of what we call organogenesis. Those are the times that the organs are forming. And all this defect we are talking about occur during this period if there is um, any disturbance to the normal formative, uh, formative uh, exchange. Okay. Now, let's look at cigarette smoking. Okay. I was um, trying to read up something and I saw that if the mother smokes or mm. is always in an environment where cigarette smoke is, it could also mm. be implicated. Mm. Well, uh, when you talk of smoking, smoking actually is a health hazard as has been seen. So the defect of that smoke and the nicotine in the tobacco who also caught health hazard, which the, this cleft may be part of it. There is part of it that I mentioned, although there is no scientific backing yet that link it is just part of predisposing factor okay. to the formation of the, and alcohol? Of the Well, alcohol, not, well, so many things have been mentioned, has been 
tied to it because the exact cause